All right, Mr. Sotko here, and welcome back to another Warcraft 3 replay cast. Today it is a one versus one on Turtle Rock. This is a Warcraft 3 arena net top replay between our teal human player, Mr. Winner, and up top we have our yellow orc player, just another orc. I'm going to go ahead and speed it on up to the 8x mark to the two minute point of the game when all the heroes come out, all the good stuff starts to happen. And once again, it's been a while since I casted. But, uh, you know, life getting in the way and all, and uh, I actually plan on casting a little bit of Steel Division maybe after this. And I think that's going to be a good time, but for now, we got ourselves a top replay. I was going to get on the replay of the week, but it was a very, very long replay, 57 minutes long. And not to say that I don't feel like casting a 57 minute long replay, because they certainly have in the past. But I wanted to get on this top replay here, because I actually really like Mr. Winner. And I hear people calling them by different names. I think one corrupt, and uh, I can't remember the other one's name. I think they go by pseudonyms here, but uh, that's okay. I've casted many replays of both of these players. And Playmaster, already sporting Gloves of Haste, Circle of Nobility, was purchased, sold that Scroll of Town portal to purchase that circlet. And others attack. said novelties and gauntlets of ogre strength will be left behind. Circle of mobility and slippers of agility on the archmage. And now the archmage going after the seer turtle hatchlings, but the blade master is gonna. Pick himself a freebie kill. Might have got two freebie kills there. Not sure. I wasn't really looking at the experience too much there. But that's okay. Not going to be too significant in the long run. Certainly seen many, many a game and replays. People with a much, much more powerful hero still get obliterated. Master taking a little bit too much there. We'll take a look at some tech real quick. Keep a coming on up. A blacksmith. Arcane Vault, of course. And nothing too crazy from the orc. Just going the regular route for now. So we'll have to see what he decides to do a little later on. And Giant Sea Turtle Camp. And this is indeed a bold move. Right outside a Blade Master's base. You're almost sure to be being watched over by a creepy blade master standing in the shadows i don't think he got that kill there range definitely took that one got himself a gauntlets of ogre strength and in this case probably gauntlets of ogre selling i was actually trying to look for those old gauntlets looks like they were picked up and possibly sold at some point by a player i don't know the blade master actually has those at the moment so he did end up actually taking those I'm not surprised if that would be sold. Maybe a Torn Chieftain on the way. No Shadow Hunter. So not really much of a reason to keep those gauntlets around. It does give you about 75 health. But it uh, doesn't really help too much in the long run. Although if you escape with 20 health or so after you have a Blade Gauntlets of Ogre Strength, you know you survived because of the Gauntlets of Ogre Strength. So, then again, good save you. Two Bestiaries coming on up. And now just another orc going after the Ogre Warrior Camp, which is traditionally the first place that a Blade Master will go on this map. And indeed, that is the reason why right there, get those Claws of Attack. Also drops Gloves of Haste, I believe, from those camps as well. Which are probably equally as good. I guess you'd have to go with the Claws of Attack because of crit and all. But uh, still, attack speed, always a good time. And the Archmage will now try to clear out the Magi camp. Meanwhile, the Shadowhunter and the Blademaster are on the way. And a couple Riflemen is an odd choice. So we'll see how that works out for him. With these riflemen, I'd like to see what the second hero is going to be for Mr. Winner, if any at all. And going to be a paladin, which makes sense. And we'll see if he actually gets a blood mage later on as well. Because that would result 
in quite a bit of mana, but uh, usually people get that Blood Mage a little bit sooner. It takes out his own Water Elemental there. And I think it's okay, because I don't know if Water, water Elementals even feel pain. They're kind of like fish in that Nirvana song. It's okay to kill your own Water Elemental, because they don't have any feelings. Two Gauntlets of Ogre Strength and a Circlet of Nobility on the Paladin. It's not a bad start for a Paladin, actually. Quite a bit of health. And uh, quite a bit of damage as well. Quick speed for the Archage there. You know, just another work up top here. Tome of Indulgence plus two on the ground. A slow time clearing this out. Not a lot of damage up there. Not a lot of units out. Or just another orc. Gargantua and Sea Turtle will go down Players soon. We'll see what ha happens. The drop. Flip of the tongue. Gonna expand there as well. Scourge Bone Chimes for the orc. And a potion of healing for the paladin. And the people rejoice, hurrah for the shopkeep. Or rather, huzzah for the shopkeep. Scourge Bone Chimes on Orc. Not too bad, considering Grunts do pretty okay damage. Our players' forces are under attack. And we'll be stealing some of that health. A couple Wind Riders in the back there take out a farm. A town is under siege. And now we'll take out the Scout Tower in probably four hits there. That extra damage taken by the light armor, which uh, never really made that much sense to me. There would be light armor on a tower. But I guess for balance purposes, players' forces are under attack. It was fortified right off the bat. It would be quite difficult to stop a human tower rush. So we'll give that to him. And free rifleman. Or just another orc. Possibly free spirit lodge for Mr. Winner. Gotta love them free spirit lodges. You know, when you're walking through the grocery store and they have those samples. And, you know, you pick up the first one and it's some delicious cheese. And then the second one is a delicious spirit lodge. And then you ask... The sample giver, does it make witch doctors? Yes. Yes, it does. In fact. With stasis traps and everything. Your very own witch doctors. And will the grunt survive? Grunt, run for your life. Failure. Grunt taken down. A little bit more experience for Mr. Winner. There's another work. Going after the troll warlord camp. It's gonna be free and clear to do so, and no human on his tail. Players' forces are under attack. See what drops for these two players. Gargantua and Sea Turtle going down at the same time. Always a good stuff. It makes me move my fingers around like Mr. Burns. Love watching items drop. And let's see. We got a flute of accuracy. Really nice for the orc. Has vampiric aura and essentially a true shot aura. Scroll of Selling, a scroll of greater selling for Mr. Winner. Although it would not be so bad at the moment, as there are no shaman around to purge it away. Spirit walkers for that matter. Players' forces are under attack. And that is traditionally why the Scroll of the Beast sort of honestly just kinda sucks. It is pretty lame. Now, 25% bonus damage is always really good, but it's just too easy to steal it. Spellbreakers, Spirit Walkers, Shaman, Triads, what have you. Always able to just sort of take it away, steal it, dispel it, what have you. Too easy, and sells for too much. Talisman of Evasion on the Paladin. And just a whole mess of creeping going on at the moment between these two players, which is always a good time. I like to see them creeping out, but uh, we still would like to see them actually attack each other. It's always a good time, too. 
Here, again, Sea Turtle will go down. A Tome of Agility and. Don't see what dropped. Gauntlets of Lower Strength. Looks like Scroll of Beast, maybe he picked up there. Drop the gauntlets on the ground. A Raider looks like it might make it away here. The slow goes away, but it uh, doesn't look like anytime soon. Elemental may chase him down. And no, it looks like the Raider actually might be able to uh, hide for a moment and a get away. Is under siege. And no, unfortunately, that's slow. A little too, too much. This is the Raider. The player's forces are under attack. And uh, Priest gets caught in transition there. On the rally to the Orc base. Voodoo Lounge will go down very quickly. However, there's a second Voodoo Lounge. Fools! It's just a trap! And Juicy On Fire Barracks will go down first there before the second Voodoo Lounge. And Farm's going down. Does have one into fortification though, so we'll take a little longer to get those farms down than otherwise. A couple raiders on the way here, and they're in the wrong place at the wrong time. One raider may actually make it away though. This one, not gonna be too lucky. And now back in the human base, Altar of Kings is gonna go down here soon. Two raiders here doing plenty of work with that siege damage, but the other units, especially with that one armor, not doing too hot here. So in terms of a base race, not sure it's going to win. Lots of peasants, really, on this side. Some casters that do just about nothing, but not really that much for our orc player either. And it does have some towers there as well to defend. So, of course, orc always have those good old-fashioned burrows. A couple more raiders now out, and whoosh, they go away. And I'm wondering if just another orc has pillage or not. Let's take a look at his funds and take a look when he attacks. And don't even think I can tell. It does not look that way. Could be mistaken though. Actually, I'm gonna go back to one of our observers. And the base getting power repaired here. And the entire human army on it cannot put Humpty Dumpty back together again. So I'm going to have to take out one or two of these peasants. But does have an expansion over here. It is going strong, so not too big of a deal right now for just another orc. And I think Mr. Winter just thinks it's a regular old base race, but it is certainly not. Because after this base would be taken out, nothing left for Mr. Winter. But there would be an expansion going for just another orc, so uh, Mr. Winner needs to get his ass expanding. There's not that much left in the mine. 4,000 will last a little while. And orc determined to get a last building. Doesn't look like that's going to happen. Fleet Master does make it out just okay, fine. And looks like the Shadow Hunter made it out somehow as well. And expansion still going strong here. 4,400 still in the mine up yonder as well. Wanted to use the word yonder. So I just slapped that in there. Hope you guys don't mind. And while there's a lull in the action, I do want to apologize for not uploading a lot. But it seems like a lot of you guys have actually stayed subscribed. Uh, I don't really lose many subscribers. Uh, which is sort of surprising to me. And I really appreciate you guys for that. For just holding on. Um, and waiting for things to come out. But, you know, that thing that is called life gets in the way. Had a baby boy. Most beautiful baby boy ever. He's so cool. But um, very, very hard to cast, um, you know, with a baby. And, uh, you know, I live in an apartment. You know, wasn't planning on having a baby, but did. Turned out really great. It's really awesome, guys. It's sort of scary, but it's, it's really cool. Um... And uh, Kedgar's Pipe of Insight, not something you see every day. That's sort of a rare item. Um, but unfortunately, not very useful for an Archmage at all. But uh, I do plan on maybe, you know, like trying once in a while here to cast um, a little bit more, maybe a few in a day, and then spread them out um, the over the course of a, of a week or two. 
you know, just to make some, you know, somewhat steady content. Also, I'll be moving again soon um, out of my apartment um, to, to a bigger place. And uh, so it would be like a three bedroom situation. So I'll be, I'll be able to have sort of an office, if you will. And uh, maybe get uh, a little bit more casting done. So in the future, guys, I really plan to do more casting. Gonna have to hurry out of there. And did get a few buildings, though. And just gonna remake them in the back. And has two fortification now. So gonna be even harder as time goes on to take out this human base. One thing I rarely ever see people do is get level three fortification as human. Um, not entirely worth it. I mean, Please it certainly isn't worth it to attack. tech uh, up there just for that upgrade. But uh, I see a lot of people, even though they have a castle, um, he has a keep in this case, uh, but uh, even though sometimes I see a lot of people having a castle, they just don't get uh, fortification level three. They just don't have the money at the time. They're, they're, they're pretty much stressed for uh, income at that point in the game. But they don't really want to get it. They'd rather get a unit instead. Another scroll of healing, if you will, instead. But uh, I still like to see level 3 fortifications. It just makes your building so um, frustrating to take down for another race. And here we go. Going back to the farms, this time two armor on the buildings though. These farms will go down really quick regardless. Those raiders on there is just gonna pretty much bust right through that armor. Now the keep is in trouble. Here come the peasants. Not gonna be able to get too many peasants here or here. So you might wanna move those peasants up or something. Try and cram them up in there a little bit more before he starts repairing. And gonna have to come back to the base soon. Mr. Winner still up in the orc base and I'm not sure if he believes this is the only base or not. And if he does, that's going to be a big mistake. He's going to come back to the keep. It's barely alive. If he can get one... Oh, he could not get one raider. So he loses his town hall there. We'll have to remake that. We can check his funds real quick. Does not have much at all. 59 over 42 now. Uh, 58 uh, gold. So not sure what he's going to do for the rest of the game. I think he is screwed. No way to turn in that gold now. And so he's going to have to scour the base, or the map rather, to uh, see what's going on. There is a second expansion coming up. Can I say yonder again? Yeah, coming up yonder. I did it. I did it. I did it. I'm bold. I know. Um, down here. I think this is the first time I'm ever going to do this, but I'm just going to stand up and walk away because for some reason there is a cell phone with an alarm going off in the back of my house. So let's do that. Let's just do it. Screw it. A player's forces are under attack. Oh, right, look at that. I kept the camera right on the action and everything. How good is that? Come on, guys. Give me... At least somebody give me props for that. So, yeah, there was an alarm going off. I'm not sure why. Maybe it was for some other event. And now just another orc on the run, on the fence. Spirit Walker disenchanting the slow from the units as they get a little too low. And Blade Master moving on in. Scoots right by. Main tech, a rifleman. Nope. Looks like he's just going to go straight to the base here. And so Mr. Winner in a bit of trouble. Every unit he loses is pretty much going to be his last. And now, Blade Master going crazy with all these peasants around. And, of course, Blade Master versus 10 or 12 peasants. He's going to be breaking ankles on the court. And now, back in the Orc base once again. But, uh, once again, not the expansion or anything. Does have quite a bit of gold in the mine. 2,000 gold. 
But I'm really not sure if he knows that there are expansions. Let's actually take a look at his vision. My camera is going out of control. Really love that. Take a look at his actual vision here. And no, he does not see that at all. The only thing that he can see is these buildings here. This looks completely empty. This looks completely empty. So he does not even know that those exist. And we'll change the colors back there. Not to confuse you guys. And a human base in turmoil. Did leave a couple water elementals up there. Now some riflemen are coming over and they're just starting to see the horror of a completely and utterly ready expansion here that has been fully developed and even burrowed in. And now back at the base. So close. 13 health on that Blademaster. Players' forces are under attack. And so, in this case, the Circle of Mobility pretty much saved his life with 50 health. 50 additional health. And only had 13. So he really needed that 37 health. Now, Mr. Winner on the way to the expansion. But, uh, unfortunately, he's going to get to that expansion even if he takes it out. There's still another one coming on down here. Also, some peons moving across the map on the right side. Looks like they are heading to an expansion as well. Looks like they might be actually heading to this one. I'm not sure if they're going to use this one or not. Looks like they're kind of moving around that. And so what is going to happen here? Going to send some, a few footmen. Unfortunately, I don't think this is going to work too well. Might be able to get a couple kills. As long as a few peasants got inside this burrow here and started repairing it... Uh, all of these footmen would be toast, but not going to do that. Not even going to bother with that. And now another expansion coming up. So Mr. Winner has his work cut out for him. Um, however, just another orc is spending quite a bit of money on all those strongholds, or great halls, rather. And uh, to make profit on an expansion in Warcraft 3, and to some degree, I suppose, Apparently Starcraft 2, Starcraft, uh, you actually need to work at it for a little while because it costs so much to build the initial Great Hall. And then you need, of course, five peons, which you usually have, but let's say you have to make those as well. Are under Quite a bit of money that you are indebted to before you even begin to make profit. Five or six, seven hundred gold or so. So these expansions actually have to be around for a little while for it to even make a dent in his ability to make quite a bit of units. And looks like he does have quite a bit of units coming now. So, uh, of course, three expansions will do that to you. Rather, two. Third one on the way. And another level on the Arc Mage now. And now level six has that mass teleport, which is easily one of the most op- moves in the game. Although I don't want to call it op, because then that gives like an, an, a, you know, like a notation that it needs nerfed. And I wouldn't say that it needs nerfed. I'd just say that it's, let's just, let's just call it powerful. Let's just call it P. One of the most P moves in the game. Not the yellow P. Just the, just the P. As in powerful. And Mass Teleport comes on in. Just casually. And that's why it's so good. Just plop right on top of your enemy. Screw it. And we are actually going to speed this on up to the 2x mark. And uh, just to move things along a little bit here. And I'll just see what's going on here. Just another orc almost lost his bestiary there to what looks like a one or two footmen. Uh, three footmen, maybe? Three bodies, three footmen. And the base of Mr. Winner under attack as well. The expansion will fall here for just another orc, but two more left. And Arcane Sanctum goes down. Not that he could really do much with that anyway. And now Windrider's on the bottom side of the map here, harassing a farm. Mass teleport into just another orc's base here. And going after the individual peons. 
and this won't last too long. We'll be taking out these buildings here pretty easily. But now just another orc pouring into Mr. Winner's base. So an absolute base race here. Mr. Winner running around the top side, looking for additional expansions. Mass Teleport comes in again. But doesn't have any way of seeing the Blade Master. Doesn't have any kind of dust or anything. And looks like one of our observers has left the game. The actual observer that I am looking through at the moment has left the game. And now mass teleport back to the expansion. And Windrider's all over Mr. Winter's base. Not going to last much longer. This is pretty much it. These last two remaining farms down there will probably be, be the last two remaining buildings that is. And looks like just another orc is under attack all over the place as well. Just getting hit with all these individual buildings. But uh, there isn't much left here for Mr. Winner. Can still easily defend himself just by mass teleporting back to his base. But uh, is that going to be enough? Because these expansions are going strong. Stronghold now up to make more bestiaries. And another raider will fall. Water Elemental is guarding against these four Wind Riders here, but that's not going to be enough to do some good damage to them, but certainly the Wind Riders will be able to take out that Water Elemental. And now the Altar of Storms will go down here. For just another Orc. And now on to the Bestiary. And just four buildings remain. And looks like they aren't going to last too much longer here. A couple of Raiders now coming in. Now the Wind Riders are coming in. Water Elemental is gone, and that looks like a GG to me. Mr. Winter, last two buildings have been spotted. And looks like that is just about it. Gonna fight it down. And Mr. Winter defeated just another Orc, the winner, but very close. Unit score really close. Total score really close. Actually uh, higher than just another Orc, which is surprising because the resource score was so much higher for uh, just another orc. But uh, again, Mr. Winner's score for his heroes, uh, much better in that regard. But I hope you guys enjoyed this replay. And I will see you guys next time.